What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and I'm finally bringing you another Madden Ultimate Team video. This game I'm going up against someone that was hiding players in his depth chart, and so his overall was a lot lower than it should have been. He has Barry Sanders on his team, he had Joe Flacco even though he didn't use him. His quarterback was a kicker, so his overall was like half of what it should have been. But anyways, first play of the game, 82 rush by, uh, 82 yard rush by Barry Sanders. A couple plays later, we intercept the ball, so we get, a, we get very lucky there, and I wanted to kneel the ball there in the end zone. Usually you just don't push any buttons and they'll kneel it, but he didn't, so luckily he didn't fumble it by some bizarre reason. On third down, we're going to go ahead and hook up with Percy Harvin. What an amazing catch there. And I want to apologize for not having a video out sooner. I was really busy this weekend. Uh, my girlfriend actually came back uh, to where I live, uh, where she lives. She lives not too far away from me. Uh, she's been away uh, to college, so I only get to see her like maybe once, twice, uh, like one or two weekends every month. So I was kind of busy this weekend. So, uh, that's why I haven't had like anything out. But I apologize that this video wasn't out. I know you guys got to the amount of likes that I said. But uh, like I said, I was I was just really busy. But here we go. He's got the ball back. We're up by seven points. He's like hooking up with his guys. And I don't know. I just found this game to be a little unfair. His players were a lot better than mine. Uh, first of all, he has a 99 uh, overall running back. And we have like a 63. So we have to go with Kellyan Williams or Keeland Williams. Because Ben Tate's out, and I didn't want to put an injury card on him. He has like Steve Breston, Percy Harvin, and another good receiver. Uh, he used Sean Hill as quarterback. I don't know why he didn't use Joe Flacco, but he's gonna hook up with Percy Harvin there with a touchdown to cut the or tie the game up. And I don't know what I was doing here. Uh, I fumbled with Matt Schaub, I guess, because I was trying to throw it as I got tackled. He recovers it, setting himself up with awesome field position, and he's just going to go ahead and try to run it in with Barry Sanders there. And on fourth and goal, yeah, as you're going to see, we're going to lose one of our linebackers for, like, ever. Uh, he's going to go ahead and QB sneak it in with Sean Hill, giving him a 14-7 lead. And uh, we're going to hook, hook up with David Clowney here. And I don't think I've turned the ball over just yet, but right about here, he's going to intercept it there with Jonathan, no, not Jonathan Vilmer, Vilma, uh, Gerard Mayo, the linebacker on the Patriots. And you're going to see that a couple times this game. I'm not used to someone user controlling the old, like, I'm fine with them user controlling the middle linebacker, but I'm not used to the middle linebacker jumping 30 feet in the air in one hand catching it when I'm, like, when I haven't been playing online in a while. I've just been playing my, uh, uh, my franchise series so I'm not used to the computer doing that so I need to get used to people doing that because um, you know they can one hand catch it uh, so here there's only a minute and 20 about left in the half and I decided to do a draw try to catch him off guard and then first and 10 we're gonna go ahead and try to throw another pass here and oh look at that he jumps another 30 feet in the air and one hand catches it with Gerard Mayo um, I'm like I said I'm not used to it because he plays like 10 yards off the ball and you can jump 30 feet in the air and catch it uh, so that was the second interception of the game, and oh, here we go, Barry Sanders, 99 overall, picking up a bunch of yards. First and 10, he's going to go ahead and pass it here, hitting his tight end, I think that's his tight end, and he's going to get another big chunk of yards. Second and 5, he's going to go ahead and pass it, and he's going to hook up with whoever that is, Percy Harvin again, giving him a 24-7 lead. Um, so this was not a good game. He tried to use a picket there, and then... Pitta's just like, I don't I don't even want to catch the ball. So I was getting really frustrated. Uh, the game was pretty much out of hand at this point. And I thought I was going to use a catch this, but he rocket catches it. And that was also very stupid. So I was not too happy with this game. And Eric Molden, uh, why did you not pick that off? Um, it's okay, though, because I got rid of Eric Molden either at the end of this video or the end of the next video. Um, and by the way, I'm just going to go ahead and buy silver packs from here on out. Uh, I think like every third or fourth video I'm going to buy a gold pack. Or, or until like most of my team's silver, um, I'm just going to continue buy buying silver packs. And then eventually I'll switch over to gold. Um, I just figure that's the best way to do it. Um, but here we go. First and ten after a holding call on the kickoff. Uh, Keelan Williams is going to fumble it. Pitta is thankfully going to pick it up. Next play, I 
don't know what I was doing here. I did not even see the guy running after me, to be honest. And we get sacked for a safety. He gets the ball back. That's just really embarrassing. If you get sacked for a safety, you should just stop playing. I should just stop playing. Um, but I don't know what he was trying to do there. I think he was trying to like user catch it in some fancy way and screwed up terribly. So I get the interception. I don't even think I got anything out of it. So here later in the game, 4th and 7 with 50 seconds left in the game. He's going to intercept it again. That one I can understand but uh, I was just oh I thought that was a fourth like like the fourth quarter uh, wow I'm getting a little ahead of myself um I, I can understand he intercepted that but I, I've just been getting really frustrated Pitta is going to drop the ball there um, this was just not my game I was <laughs> not too happy at all and here we go we get a catch there with David Clowney I swore he wasn't going to catch that I thought some BS was going to happen and he wasn't gonna come up with the catch so fourth and four we're gonna hit David Clowney there he's gonna shut a tackle pick up a couple more yards fourth and ten we gotta go for it and we get sacked so we can't cut the lead down to 15 um, 236 left in the game second and nine He's going to go ahead and throw an interception to Molden. I wanted to lateral it backwards. Failed, but it's all right because we get the ball back. Uh, so we're making our way back up, trying to get a touchdown, trying to get something. But I, it's it's not happening at this point. I go deep looking for Percy Harvin. He can't hook up with it, and that's really unfortunate. So fourth and ten, got to go for it once again. And we're just Kelly and Keeland Williams just going to drop the ball. Don't know what he was doing there. So we're going to give it to Kelly and I keep saying Kelly and I want to just say Kelly and Williams. Keelan Williams, we're going to give him the ball. He's going to run it all the way down the field with about 30 seconds left to go. Giving us a touchdown. We would go for a two points, fail, and then the game's just going to wrap up here. It's going to kick a field goal like how I always do in my franchise series. He's going to win 32-13, to just really embarrassing loss. Here you go. There's my two injured players, Ben Tate and that other guy. So I'm going to buy his silver pack, and we get some decent players. We're going to go ahead and get Dante Stall. Worth, uh, Stephen McGee, who I don't even re really need, Francois, uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, and then a strong safety, he will be pretty good for the next game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and as always, thanks for watching, and tune in next time.